Hi everyone, I'm James Sabalski. Down at ice level is Ray Ferraro, and we are amped up to bring you what should be a dandy matchup here this evening. The Hurricanes have a quick turnaround as they're right back into the fire tonight, Ray. Sometimes the team on the back-to-back -back plays really well early, like they're into the game. Eventually, though, you run out of gas, and that's where you have to watch what happens in a back-to-back -back scenario. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Hurricanes take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And he slides it quickly to Moore. And now he moves it quickly to Kasha. Play develops. It's a two-on-one. There's a great glove save by Comrie. And he slides it quickly to Moore. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. The Hurricanes fall off the post. What a shot. I mean, really good play, but it hits the post. And like everything else in this game, it stays out of the net. Big save. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Quick pass to Gaunts. Take it along the wall by Vatnin. Moves it quickly over to Fast. Feeds the puck across to Kotkaniemi. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And now it's grabbed. Buries it for the goal. I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year, nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Hurricanes have to be loving this start. You'd love for every start on the road to be this good. The early goal, a good couple of first shifts. Now you want to push through this first period. And that's broken up. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Trocek. And that's just out of reach. Trying to gain a step. He's in the clear. Oh, what a save! We got a stoppage here in play as the net gets knocked off. Well, the whistle goes as soon as the net comes dislodged from the moorings. Doesn't take much to knock it off. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Hurricanes lead it 1-0. Here he is from the slot. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like a redo on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Poked away by Tanev. Carolina's got the puck. Angles it over to Trocek. Poked away at center by Tanev. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. That's gloved by Ranta. Takes the feed from his netminder. Ranta's off to a good start. That's a nice stop. Hasn't been many of those, though. A save percentage that it's subpar has really hurt his team. Taken by Shea. St. Petersburg's looking to break out of their own end. Receives the pass. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Gains the zone from the right side. Here's a shot, and that carries off a stick. Carries it across the line. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now, and they won't connect on that one. St. Petersburg's got control of it now from their own end. And he takes a shot. It's gone! They kept working away, not taking too many chances, and their work has resulted in a tie game. One of the more difficult spots for the goaltender to cover is that area just above the pad, low on the stick side. More than half the period left to play. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Benito's won the draw here in the open ice. Gets it to the other point. He scores! And the deadlock's been broken! Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. I'm not sure how that got into the net. That thing's bouncing all over the place. Not even really a shot. 
but he'll take it. It's in the net now. St. Petersburg's gone in front here in the opening frame. Seemed like this game was going to be deadlocked for a long period of time. That's a little bit of a quick strike. So we'll see what they do with it. Slides into Bach. And that play's broken up. Can't get it to go. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Sends a pass over. He scores! A where were you moment! His first in the National Hockey League! When you play your first game, when you score your first goal, you will never forget either of them. jumped up to their feet. Everybody excited as the rookie has got his first career goal. Right before puck drop, another thought on what we just saw from the rookie. He'll never forget it. You dream about this goal so many times and now you've got it. Cousins wins it in the dots. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. There's the whistle, offside is the call, stopping the play. Both teams are set, they're ready to drop the puck. Ajo's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Yolevi. Pushes it across to Ajo. Some good stick work to force that turnover. And now he passes up to Kasha. And that's intercepted, and they'll go on the attack. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop on the one-on-one. -on -one. What a great play to get in on the goaltender all by himself, but turned away with an excellent save. The Bears will go to work here in the offensive zone. Point-to-point -point pass. Moves it to Cousins. Ajo's lugging the puck. And that's knocked away by Kasha. Looks to set up at the point now. An easy save by Ranta. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. The Hurricanes take possession off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Ajo. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Picked up along the boards by Teravainen. Passes on over to Ajo. Across the line from center. Breakaway. Oh, what a save. Really good effort. I thought he made a, a good play on the net, but the goaltender's right on top of it. Puts it on net. Up waffles for dinner with that stop. Quick pass to Glenn Denning. Slides it back to the blue line. Handles the puck. Stays with it. Way too much congestion blocks that. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Down the right side and into the zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. And makes a save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Comrie's blocker comes into good use there. Good positioning, and he's able to deflect it away. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. 
St. Petersburg's got it in the defensive zone. Can't connect on the pass. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. He was locked in there. Passes it over to Bear. They go on the attack through center. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. And now it's over to Natchez. And he sends it across to Trocek. Feeds it to Kotkaniemi. And that's broken up by Stevenson. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Granted strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Slides the puck ahead to Trocek. Great read with the stick. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck. Byron's moving it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Fast. Takes the pass. And serves up a little knock on the play. Poked away at center by Murray. Looking to set up offensively. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And they get it out. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Kotkaniemi's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck picked up by Kotkaniemi. Quick feed to Natchez. Takes it into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, I hated when I missed chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Carolina's on the attack. To his teammate. Comes up with the stop. And they send it down the ice. Carolina's got possession of the puck. And that's broken up. Carolina's playing it through center. Taken along the wall by Martinuk. Drives it to the crease. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Comrie. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Great reach with the poke check. And that one's broken up. Martinuk's got it in the offensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. Petersburg's gained possession. Getzlaff swooping in on the attack. Carolina's got it behind the net. That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As that's a, that looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. Comrie's got quick hands, both the glove and here the blocker side with the save. Aho's a master at dishing the puck, guys. He's able to make deceptive passes to set up his teammates, and we call that his third eye zone ability. Look to him for some beautiful passing plays. And that goes off a player in front. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Aho's third eye zone ability means he can distribute the puck so well. Tanev's a solid defender, but he can still throw up points for his club. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. They got a pair on a two-on-one. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Ranta. Here's a chance, and there's another stop. Ranta's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Such a simple thing, but I'm really impressed with the blocker technique here as the puck gets deflected away from the net on the same. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Hurricanes win it in the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck to Svechnikov. It's official, period number one is in the books. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause.
period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. Still tied up here as we get underway here in period number two. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Hurricanes burnt the puck up constantly in that first period. Probably pretty lucky the game's tied. James, when you look forward to the rest of this game, they have to do a much better job when they have the puck to make sure they keep it. And no luck on that pass attempt. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Slides the puck up from the left side. The Hurricanes take possession in the defensive end. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Couldn't complete the pass. Slavin's got it in the defensive end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Denies him with the pad. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Interference is the call. Intentions were good, though, I would think. Yeah, but you got to realize I'm in the wrong spot. I can't get in the way like he did. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Well, the power play gets to dust itself off here. First opportunity tonight. The Hurricanes win the draw. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Murray's got control of it now behind the cage. Gains the zone through the middle. Slides it across. Aaron pass and they can't connect. And that's broken up. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And now he moves it to Gardner. And that's picked off in front. Takes the feed. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Hollas looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Throws it in. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Moves it on over to Faust. Nice pass. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. Carolina's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. St. Petersburg's got it from behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Faust. Here's a chance! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Ranta! St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. That eyes on the play! And they get that puck down the ice. St. Petersburg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And here at center, that's intercepted. And that's poked away. Moves the puck across to Hinnestroza. Save and a butte. Moves it to Halla. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Sometimes you pick up a little extra in the replay here. As you look at this, the goalie is so sharp to make this save. That's an excellent shot that is taken, and the goalie turns it away. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Pesci's time is almost done. Sent into the opposite side. Here's a short pass to Cousins. Carolina's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. That's a long time to sit in the penalty box when the game is tied, and you've just taken a penalty to put your team shorthanded. But he gets bailed out. The penalty kill does an excellent job. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's denied by Ranta. Quick pass to Tanev. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Kotkaniemi. Good read with the stick to break that up. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Scores! Breaks the tie! I 
I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. Excellent shot. He gets his stick into position to deliver the puck. Goalie thinks he's got most of it covered, which he does, but not enough. It's just inside the post. The Hurricanes take a one-goal lead here in the second. This game doesn't look like it's going to stretch out at all now, James. Even though there is a lead, it seems like it'll stay close. Puck grab by Ulevi. Carolina's got him along the wall. And he makes the save. Comer, he's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Hurricanes are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Nietzsche wins it in the offensive zone. Musa quickly over to Gardner. Now he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. Knocked away. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Move to the middle. Wide of the net. Most dangerous place on the ice. And he can't capitalize. Quick feed to Jarvis. Takes a shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Comrie. Moves it to Moore. And that pass can't connect. Here's a shot. And that's stopped by Ranta. Here's a short pass to Jarvis. Moves the puck to the attacking area. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. And he regains control of the puck. Takes the feed. Feeds the puck to Jarvis. Puts it in deep. The Bears have it now. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves the puck. St. Petersburg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Pesci. Carolina's looking to break out. And now he tries to get it across to Bach. Knocked away by Murray. And now it's grabbed by Katrula. Intercepted. Taken by Slavin. St. Petersburg's got the puck now. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Puck picked up by Slavin. Now a quick pass to Tara Vinen. And he comes up with it. Quick pass to Stone. And now he angles it across to Kajula. Intercepted the pass. Here they are on the attack. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. And he denied that opportunity. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Carolina's got a 3-2 lead at this point. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Hinestroza. Moves it quickly over to Stone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tara Biden. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Nice job tying up his opponent. Quick feed to Shea. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Vatnin. I seems the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. The Hurricanes win the faceoff. Those faceoffs after icings are important. Now you've got the puck and they're a little tired. Let's it go. Gets in front of it. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain.
Glenn Dennings won a big draw on their own end. Sends the pass over. Hinnestrosis moving the puck through his own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. And now it's over to Pajula. The Hurricanes are in transition. Moves it to Kotkaniemi. And puts it right over the crossbar. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Here's a short pass to Bozak. Here's a chance on the attack. St. Petersburg's looking to break out of their own end. Skates across the blue line. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Passes over to Bozak. That pass doesn't go. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Can't get a hold of that pass. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Here in the late going of the frame, Carolina's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And there's the save. Quick pass to Kotkaniemi. Shot! And that one's blocked! Moves it quickly over to Batman. Off a stick and they can't connect. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. So often in a in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. The power play guys are pumped here. They haven't had any chances tonight. Here's their first. Quick feed to Slavin. Pass right on the doorstep. And that one's broken up. Great block there. And the puck clears the zone. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Trocek's such a creative player. He's always looking at the next way through the traffic. Tries a tricky move there, but can't complete it. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. St. Petersburg's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Cuts to the paint. Wow. He scores on the power play. Taking advantage of the extra man. Move the puck well and get on the board. Two factors always on a goal here. We get the replay to look at it. It's the speed of the shot and the placement. Perfectly low stick side. Carolina's looking to preserve this two-goal lead right to the intermission. Well, they'd love to get it in the spot that they're in, and then guaranteed the coaches will talk about there's still 20 minutes left. Stay after it. Svechnikov's going to play it against the half wall. Puck grabbed by Tara Vinan, and he easily stops that one. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Tara Vinan's rolling along on his point streak. You know he wants it to keep going. Late goings of this period. The Hurricanes have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Ajo's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Tries to the crease. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Again. Gonna have to work a lot harder to beat him tonight, I guess. There's two excellent saves in a row. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. All alone! Scores! What a finish! Yeah, once he gets into the clear, it's like he's so decisive on what he wants. And he puts it away for the goal. Here's the one-on-one -on -one game. The goalie thinks he's gonna deke, but he beats him with a quick shot. St. Petersburg's got one back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? From their bench, it seems like they're pretty excited. They jumped up, they're loud, 
They're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer. Slides the puck across to Trocek. Read perfectly with the stick at center by Gustafson. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. Moves it to Natchez. Here's a shot, and that's denied by the goaltender. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come. Quick pass to Natchez, and that banks off a stick. Slides the puck over. Carolina's got it in the neutral zone. St. Petersburg's regained possession of the puck. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. The setters will glide into the dot. Carolina's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play both home and away. Or listen to the online podcast at home or on the smartphone. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. The officials are set, the players are set, Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. let's go. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here and we are underway here in the third. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Bears continue to chase the game and really it's kind of a miracle, James, that they're in it. They don't have any shots on goal. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Receives the pass. St. Petersburg's got possession here in the neutral zone. 
And now he moves it to Moore. Great read in the offensive zone by Svechnikov. Denied that one. Comber is able to make an outstanding save. His quickness and positioning give him the chance to even get a piece of this. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Takes it at center. Svechnikov's usually a part of a winning strategy for their team. He hasn't generated anything offensively, yet here they are in a pretty decent spot. Scooped up along the wall by Svechnikov. The Bears take possession in the defensive end. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Kotkaniemi. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Oh, complete explosion on that physical hit. Great save by Raja. Here's a short pass to Halla. Passes right to the front, and that's broken up. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. From point blank. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Icing is the call here, and those winded bodies are going to be out there for an extended period here now. Yeah, they can't get a change in, and so you go back, you kind of meander your way back as long as you can to kill time and get a little breath. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of them. Nietzsche has won the faceoff. Here he is in front! That's wide of the net. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Moves it quickly over to Byron. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Intercepted in the offensive end by Trocek. Puck scooped up by Tanev. Here's a shot. Tremendous stop by Ranta. Sends a pass over. Great poke by Vatnin. Here's a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Can't connect. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Knocked away in the offensive zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. That's a good scoring chance. I mean, the shot's okay, but it's not good enough to beat a goaltender that's in position like that. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Carolina's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Quick feed to Getzlaff. Great forecheck by Murray. Carolina's got possession of the puck. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Tanev. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. St. Petersburg's won the draw. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Bears got it in the defensive zone. The Bears have it now. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Grant is able to handle that shot with no problem, and he gets it into the corner for safety. Poked away in the neutral zone. Carolina's got the puck. Moves it to Jarvis. Here he is, wrists it on net. Stops it with a glove. Comrie's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. Hey, getting another look at that one, James, right here. Look at that save. Just a piece, just enough to keep it out of the net. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Picked up along the wall by Martin. Drives to the paint! And now it's grabbed by Martin. Slides that one right across the blue line. From the top of the offensive zone here. Puts it up front! Nothing doing!
Great reach with the poke check. Shea's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the pass. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the boards. Denied by Ranta. Right to the middle. What a steal in his own end. Nice zone entry on the left side. Skates to the crease. Scores! His second of the night. Well, things go well for you if you're scoring multiple times in a game. This has been a terrific night for him. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Carolina's widened that lead to two here in this third period. Question is, is it enough? Well, it should be. I mean, you can't kick away a game like this now if you expect to be a good team. Great reach with the stick in the neutral zone by Gustafson. Moves it around along the half wall. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Quick pass to Tara Vinen. Broken up by Stone. Here's a chance. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Here they come on the attack. Takes a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Ranta. Passes it to Yolevi. What a wild offensive night this has been. The real crazy part is both teams are in on it. It's no runaway. Somebody is going to score a couple of goals before the end of this, and that's going to be the difference. Past the midway mark in this period, the Hurricanes now lead by two. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carolina's got it across the line. And it's a quick pass to Kotkaniemi. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Trying to gain a step. Oh, what a save! Picked off by Trocek. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. The Hurricanes have it now. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. And sends it just out of reach. Taken by Tanev. Grabs the puck. Foss got it along the wing. Oh, what a stop! Grant has had to do his part. He's had a good night in the goal, but at the other end, they've been really sharp around the net. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. St. Petersburg's got possession here in the offensive zone. Across the point. Cuts to the front, and that's blocked away. Pesci's got the puck along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Terabinet. Here's a short pass to Trocek. Denies that opportunity. Can't find his man. Moves it quickly over to Stevenson. Couldn't complete the play. Textbook poke check by Stone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Great use of the stick at center by Gustafson. Carolina's got it in their own zone. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. Unable to reach that one. Handles the puck. Big time blocker stop. Here comes the pushback. Bozak's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. He's struggling to get to the bench now, James. And pretty clearly, he's going to need some help from the training staff. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Gaining steam here on the attack. Here's an offensive chance. From the blue line, they take control of it. Driving right to the wow. front. They score!
That's about as lucky as you can get. You need some puck luck most of the time to win. There's a good chunk of it. The Hurricanes have been whipping their opponents all night long, and it continues here in the third. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind their bench right now. A quick feed to Vatnin. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And that's blocked. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Can't catch up to the pass. Martinick's taking it from his own end. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a chance. Denies him with the pad. Works it across to Vatnin. St. Petersburg's been called for icing yet again. They can't get out of their own way this period. Oh, well, the coaching staff looks really frustrated behind the bench. You can have any game plan you want, but if you can't make the first pass, you're not going to get any traction. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Tanev's got my vote in this game, guys. Neither player we talked about earlier has been able to get on the board, but despite that, I think he's been engaged and worked hard out there. And somehow, some way, he comes up with a stop in his glove. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. The final horn sounds, and it's time to soak it all in. The freshman sensation scores, the team wins. You didn't get that W when you scored your first goal, did you? No, I actually had four points but I was on for four of their goals the games, too. It's kind of a mixed bag that night, but you still remembered it. Oh, you bet. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.